like uh, this is a git uh, basic to the path file and today i'm going to show you how it's a request and i was going to show you how to use the request to rewrite in your git uh, history by using the reward delete reorder squash and straight commands first uh, let's see uh, what's the difference between the request and the must here i we had a uh, two branches yes master branch and the blue branch and now i want to uh, merge these uh, two chain uh, in the must in the double branch into my master branch I'm going to uh, run the git merge and this uh, command I will show to you in the previous uh, video what this way is going to do is uh, it's going to bring all or any double branch uh, chain and step into one merge commit a new commit and put the merge commit into my master branch like this the run test of using the merge is the hash id uh, will not change they will remain the same so next I will going to show you the request and now I'm going to type this uh, git request develops. So what this request does is, uh, is to bring all your commits from your debris brand and basically move them on top of your master brand commit like this. The abrant test of using the request is your hash ID is going to be changed as well. Let's see another example. We had uh, this uh, mas local master brand and the uh, remote master repository. So now I'm going to type the git pull origin master and we're going to pull the the master the repository into our local repository. And then I'm going to check out. I'm going to create a new branch called the DEB. And this is another way that you can create a branch and check out to the branch at the same time. Next I'm going to make some commit, commit one and another is commit two. And let's say now in your remote repository there's another uh, commit have been pushed by your coworker, and I want to bring uh, this uh, new uh, commit into my local repository. So I check out into my master uh, branch again, and then I type this uh, pull origin master again and pull this uh, uh, new commit into my master local master branch. And then I'm going to uh, check out into the debug branch again, and I can uh, uh, request to uh, I can request the master so that my debug branch will stay on the top on the top of the master. Uh, let us commit like this so for example i create another commit again and now if i uh, check out in the master branch and then i type the reverse uh, the blues again and the uh, the chain the commit in the debris branch we're going to uh, bring, move into my master branch like this so after that i'm going to uh, push all these things into my remote uh, repository so this is how we are using the request. So next, uh, let's uh, go back to this uh, terminal. I was going to show you the HR demo in the terminal. Here is my empty folder, and then I'm going to uh, create a local repository file, and then I'm going to make a, a first commit by, uh, for example, create a file, uh, you know, git enough file, and going to add it to the staging area and uh, commit. It to the repository said uh, either uh, git you know. and on that I'm going to uh, create a I'm going to uh, create a new branch called the uh, debug and check out into it and uh, I'm going to uh, create some file inside this debug uh, branch and add and commit said uh, add a uh, file one and I'm going to create another one uh, let's say file two and add to the staging area and commit it to into the repository file two. So now let's check the log. So now we have three uh, commit here. Uh, one in the master branch and another two is on the developer branch. So let's say I want to create uh, after after I uh, in the developer branch and I want to create uh, say let's say I want to create another uh, chain or commit in the master branch. So I check out into my master again. And then I create another branch, uh, another file. I call it a file tree, and then add it and and commit it. And let's see the log. So now you can see that we had a, a branch here, the new branch with the two uh, commit. After that, we add another uh, commit. After the this uh, commit in the branch, we add a file tree. For example, now I want to merge this uh, debug branch into my master branch, so 
I can attack your gate must follow by the nine of the branch. And we're going to pop out the this uh, editor to let me type in the command. So I will use the this uh, default command master branch in the dev root. So I just cross this uh, editor, and then I go back to this uh, uh, load again. And now you can see that uh, uh, this is our file tree, and this uh the, the this file tree commit is at here, and we have the branch here file one and file two, and this file one and file two have been uh, merged into the master branch with a new uh, hash ID or the commit called the with the command master branch double root. And uh, you can see that all this uh, ID still uh, remain the same. There's a uh, no no uh, changing on them, so this means uh, we didn't change the history. So this is how the master uh, do for us. So next, I want to show you the the other another example by using the um, reverse. So I will open up the new uh, terminal, and this is on the other another uh, folder. So. I'm going to uh, at the same uh, same thing. I'm going to uh, create a local repository, and I'm going to make the create a git in our file. So now I'm going to uh, check out to create a new uh, the double branch, and uh, create the same file file one. So send uh, the one uh, on the left side. We have the three commit here. So now I will check out to the master again, branch again, and I will create a, a file tree. Okay, so and this time you can see that uh, out to this uh, step, it's the same. You are same here. We have a uh, file one, file two, and the file, tr file tree. And but now I'm going to uh, make a let's uh, make a, a device. So I'm going to type git. The best develops. I I now I on the master branch and I'm going to uh, reverse the develop branch into my master branch. So when I type or uh, I type enter, it will say that you have successfully reverse and audited. So let's check this uh, load again, and you can see it's a uh, it's on one it's uh, on it's only has a uh, one line here, but in the in the left hand side we had we had a, a branch. And uh, the thing that I want you to note is that. Our file tree, the hash ID has been uh, changed. Before it's a uh, FAFD9. Now, after we reverse, it becomes a 2F07. It means that uh, we have uh, changed the history. So, that's the difference between the merge and the reverse. So, next, I'm going to show you how to uh, use the reward uh, together with the reverse to rewrite your git history. So, here uh, we have the master brand and we have four commit here. And as you see that I have uh, this uh, commit with a command delete the file too. And I want to uh, train this uh, command so I can use this uh, reward. So by typing the git reverse that's i, I mean uh, interrupt the reverse so that we can uh, do something on in the default uh, call editor. After we uh, press the enter key and it will going to open the default editor and going to list out all uh, the the first two commit from the head for us. So this, this is the one so with a pick uh, keyword in front of that. I want to change this uh, command. So I uh, delete this uh, pick and uh, key in this uh, reward. And I was going to save the, the file and the default editor will cross and open up again with a comment, delete the file too. So now you can uh, edit this uh, comment as here. So I'm going to uh, type in uh, edit file two, and then I'm going to set and cross this up uh, uh, editor, and I'm going to uh, change the, this uh, comment in the commit on my master branch. That's the way how we are using this uh, reward. So by checking uh, this uh, git block on one line, you you will see that the if the these two commit the hash ID. We also being uh, changed as well, so it's one again. We are changing this uh, history. So let me uh, show you in the example that we are we are using uh, just now. So I'm going to uh, let's type this uh, load again. So for example, I want to uh, uh, I want to uh, I want to uh, change this uh, comment here. This for this one. So I will type the uh, git reverse. That's I. And I'm going to uh, 
set in the S E A D out to three. So I'm going to open up this uh, default terminal. Three commits from the head. So below that, there's a branch of the command, the command, and inside that we have this uh, reward command here, and this uh, explanation. So I, I will use this uh, reward. So because I want to uh, change the command on this uh, bar one here, so I will change. I will change this pip into reward. And save the file and cross this uh, terminal, uh, cross the editor, and you're going to open again with a command of editor file one. So now I can uh, change this command here. For example, create file one, save, and cross again. And now if I type this a uh, lot again, and you can see that uh, this are uh, file one command have been uh, updated into creator file one. And the uh, hash ID has been changed as well. Uh, not only the this of uh, file one uh, hash ID, the the first the uh, the last the three commit that we have bring into the this one reverse the uh, default editor have been changed or then have been changed. So these are quite a uh, dangerous. So you need to take care. So next, I'm going to show you how to delete the commit. So here, send it again. Then we had a four commit on my master branch, and I'm going to do the same thing. Give the rest that's I has three, and then bring out this uh, the last uh, commit from the, in the head. And I'm going to for example, I want to delete this uh, commit on the file two. So I will create. I will replace this pip with the drop keyword, and save the file and cross the editor, and you're going to. Uh, delete out this uh, commit for you in the master branch like this so again let me show you uh, in this uh, terminal here so these are rocks for example I want to uh, uh, I want to I want to uh, delete out this uh, creator file one commit so one again I type the uh, git reverse that's i and add out to three or two or three, it's three. So open up this uh, editor again. So now you can, uh, uh, I want to delete this uh, file one here. So I change this a uh, bit to drop. It's uh, this one here, this one over here. So save the file and close this uh, editor. And we're going to uh, delete out the comic for you. For example, I type this uh, error again. And you can see uh, over here, the file one has been uh, delete out. Oh, Delete away from the folder. So next, I'm going to show you how to uh, reorder the commit. So to reorder the commit, same as before with the, uh, for example, uh, to reorder the commit of uh, file one and file two, uh, you can uh, type in this uh, request again to uh, bring out these uh, commits, and then uh, you only thing you need to do is to uh, uh, manually changing the order inside this uh, editor here like this and save the file and cross the editor and you are going to uh, uh, change over this commit for you so now let's see the actual uh, demo in the so for example i want to uh, change over the file 3 and file 2 so i type uh, git reverse as i add how to 2 So the only thing I need I, I have to do is a very simple. I just uh, uh cut this one, enter and paste on top of, of this uh file two commit and save and cross. That's all. And I check again, and you can see the order of this commit have been uh, swapped over with a different test ID. That's all. Next, I'm going to show you how to uh, squash the commit. Yeah, it means I'm going to uh uh squeeze uh. This uh file extra file two and the refactor index the commit into the X, the file one commit. And before, as before, we type this uh, command again, and then we bring out this uh, file. So we are going to uh, uh type the fix out, fix out keyword in front of the commit that we want to squash. So we save the file and then uh, we, uh cross the editor and uh, here we're going to uh squeeze 
into the Rust commit. So let's see the extra uh, demo. And here I have a trick uh, for commit here. So now I want to uh, squash the commit the first two, the last two commits into the second commit. I mean, I'm going to uh, bring these two into this uh, this commit here. So one again, I tie the device. This I head. Yeah, so I'm going to out to uh, three. So now I can uh, change this uh, the the peak into the this out. So and set and cross. And I run this uh, route again, and you can see that uh, this uh, route two and three commit have been uh, scratched into this uh, far run commit, and uh, this uh, hash ID have been uh, updated too. It is not a good uh, idea for you to uh, use this uh, reverse on your master branch. You cannot uh, use the reverse on your debug branch or your feature branch. That's only your what uh, only you the one who are working on the branch because your master branch might uh, have uh, other uh, co-worker working on it the last one is uh, this uh, split commit for example now i have this uh, three commit here and i have uh, this one added file one and file two so i want to uh, split it into a uh, two commit like this okay let's uh, see the uh, demo on this uh, terminal so this time i want to uh, uh, split this uh, edit file 1 actually so inside here we have file 2 and file 3 so I want to split this commit into 3 so I can type uh, this one git reverse and add this one out to 1 so now I can uh, change this pick to edit and save and cross and you see the branch have been uh, changed to uh, this one special branch master with uh, this one reverse so let's check the status and it said we have a interactive reverse in progress so let's uh, we need to uh, unstack all the file in the commit so we type uh, git reset head with this uh, sign so let's check the status again and you can see we have these uh, three file file 1, file 2 and file 3 being uh, un uh, stated and go into our working area again so now we can uh, perform the normal uh, git workflow by typing our uh, add file 1 and now we check the status again and now the working tree is clean but we're still in this uh, reverse in progress you mean we're still in this uh, special branch so to get this or this uh, special branch we can type a uh, git reverse that is continue to let this device uh, finish complete its uh, progress so now we check this uh, status again now it's clean and now we already back to our master branch and now i type i type this uh, log again and you can see that we have this uh, three commit uh, split up from the one of so that's all for the for the for today i will show you how to uh, rewrite in the git history by using this uh, reverse with uh, some command i will also show you the difference between the this uh, reverse and the merge so the conclusion is uh, is uh, it's best for you to uh, it's, it's best and safe for you to uh, do the reverse uh, in the in your own branch and don't do it in the master branch i think that's all thank you